since I'm in traffic, it's probably a good time to talk. All right, so the absolute last question I should be asking myself right now is what my next bike would be. You know, I love my Goldwing. This thing is an awesome bike. But it's getting old. I mean, it's solid mechanically. I had uh, that at issue about a month ago where had a bad electrical connection in it we had to chase but really that's the only problems this bike is really given uh, other than you know maintenance and wear items and stuff that uh, I screwed up on it uh, the other one is we had to do a slave cylinder for the clutch it's 30 years old what, what do you want right And I could have probably prolonged the life of that slave cylinder had I changed the brake fluid two years ago when I got the bike. So it's, you know, it's kind of a maintenance thing. <sighs> Man. I thought it was going to be cold to put on a sweatshirt. It's, it's actually warm. So... You know, I'm looking at some of the other moto vloggers out there and, you know, everybody else. And, uh, you know, I'm not so sure that the 2018 Goldwing would be for me. Honda kind of left a bad taste in my mouth a couple times uh, dealing with the older bikes. Uh, the dealer experience. I'm not really in love with our dealer up here in Roseville for Honda. You know, and I'm thinking... You know, when I went to even get gloves, the Harley guys treated me so well. a and I've loved a and for years, but they've had a change in their salespeople, and I'm not liking it. The Harley people, on the other hand, they were so open and welcoming that it's a Harley bike. You know, Harley Davidson probably going to be on the short list just because of the dealer experience. You know, I like big touring bikes. So you know which one I'd be interested in. I like frame-mounted fairings. So what is it? Is that the Road Glide? I think it is. Anyway, it's pretty much the most expensive uh, bike <laughs> model that they have. Of course, that's what I want. Um, of course, right now I'm semi-retired slash unemployed. It's not a good time in my life right now to be looking at bikes. I should, you know, I need to remain happy with what I have. But still, I, I think everybody does it. Every motorcyclist does it. Man, what's my next bike going to be? Or I'd like to ride one of those. You know, um... So, for all you guys out there, I know, like, Memphis Mike, he's, uh... He got, he's got a gold wing, but then I think he has like a victory or something else. He has two bikes. Uh, Coyote Adventures just bought a Harley. You know, um, of course, then you got the Shade Tree Surgeon and his group, his merry band. They're all pretty much Harley people. Except for his Triumph. Uh, was that a Speed Triple? Gorgeous bike. And I think he has a Ducati also. But see, those bikes don't turn me... Well, I do like the Speed Triple, don't get me wrong. That Triumph is sweet. But I think for... If I was going to replace this bike, I think I'd be seriously looking at a uh, Road Glide. You know, the one with the shark fairing on the front. Don't ask me why, that's just the kind of bike I like, you know? I don't like the Batwing fairings. Of course, if somebody gave me a bike with a bat wing fairing, I'm not going to say no. But I think that, uh, you know, I I've grown used to this setup, and I like this setup on a bike as far as the way it's laid out. You know, I could try one of the bat wing fairing bikes and see if I like it, I guess. 
well, if I was to that point in my life, I would be test driving them anyway. And I'd test drive both of them, see which one I like better. Definitely a bagger. Or a tourer. Probably have the tourer pack on it. Because I do like... You know, I like the looks of the bikes without the trunks better, but... If I'm buying a touring bike, I want the trunk. You know, especially with all the gear I carry all over the place. The cameras and the, you know, drones and what have you. The more storage space, the better for me. So, yeah, I'd probably be full tour pack. I don't know. What kind of bikes would you guys look at if... You had your free pick. Like, let's say you won the Powerball. And you could uh, ride anything. Of course, if that's the case, you're probably going to have two or three bikes. I'd probably also have a Zero. <laughs> just because. Of course, if I had Powerball money, um, I'd probably have a, one of the original Gold Wings, naked, as a, just a put-around bike. Those are always cool bikes. I don't know, I've always just liked big touring bikes. The other bike I'd love to have, get my whole hands on and ride, is I'd love to like play with a Buell Ulysses. It was kind of an adventure bike before adventure bikes were cool. Just as something different. Provided the seat wasn't too tall. See, that's a big problem with me in a lot of these bikes. I have short legs. Anyway, I really did like that. Uh, I really always have liked the road glides. Probably the closest thing that Harley has to this bike. Of course, it's not going to be nearly as smooth. Or as quiet. Which are two things I really value in a bike. One thing I really love, or two things I really love about this bike is its smoothness. And its, ref well, it's smoothness and it's uh, not a loud bike. I know, some guys are going to tell me, well, why don't you look at BMW? I don't think the writing position... Well, the writing position is okay on the BMW, but the, uh... They're tall.
girlfriend. 